Greetings. My name is Janice Baines. I'm a grant specialist with the Grants and Finance Team for the Office of Workforce Development. Today we're going to talk about Fafada reporting, technical assistance, and education. The purpose of this training is to provide a local workforce development areas technical assistance on the Fafada and education on the Fafada process. We hope this technical assistance and education provides future guidance for your staff. And I'll turn it over to Janet. Thanks, Janice. And I'm Janet Brose for Grants Coordinator for the Grants and Finance Team for the Office of Workforce Development. Why is Fafada important? The FAFADA requires full disclosure to the public of federal spending information by all entities and organizations receiving federal funds under federal grants award. The intent of the act is to, one, have federal spending information available to the public, two, make it easily accessible, and three, reduce wasteful spending by the federal government. As required by FAFADA, the subsequent OMB guidance, recipients of federal awards are required to report subaward and executive compensation information about federal awards to be made public via a single searchable website, which can be found at www.usaspending.gov. To remain in compliance with FAFADA reporting, it is required that LWDAs complete the following FAFADA form located on the last two pages of the Statement of Grant Award and return to the Office of Workforce Development with your signed grant award. For this demonstration, we will be using the former Local Area 10 as an example. This example is based on the FY23 Dislocated Worker Grant. We will start by inserting the FANE, the Federal Award Identification Number. The FANE can be found on the first page underneath the grant name. Two, subawardee unique entity ID. Visit sam.gov to look up your subawardee unique entity ID. Three, subawardee name. Four, subawardee DBA name. Five, Subawardee address. Six, if DBA, subawardee parent unique entity ID, UEI. Seven, amount of subaward. Eight, subaward obligation slash action date. Nine, CFDA program number. 10, federal agency name. 11, sub-award project description. 12, sub-award principal place of project performance. 13, sub-award number. 14, in the preceding fiscal year, did the subawardee receive 80% of its annual gross revenues from the federal government? Yes or no? If yes, continue to question 15. If no, questionnaire is complete. 15. In the preceding fiscal year, were the subawardees annual gross revenues from the federal government more than 25 million annual? Yes or no? If yes, continue to question 16. If no, questionnaire is complete. 16. Does the public have access to the names and total compensation of the subawardees five most highly compensated officers through periodic reports filed under section 13A or 15D of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934, or Section 6104 of the Internal Revenue Code of 1986? Yes or no? If no, continue to question 17. If yes, questionnaire is complete. 17. Please list the name and compensations of the subawardee's five most highly compensated officers. 
For further information regarding Fafadas, the following resources have been provided. Always review for updated guidance. This concludes the Fafada training. For further technical assistance, please do not hesitate to reach out to your assigned grant specialist. Thank you.